All right, we're back. Yeah, we're back. We were we were rambling about uh, 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 Apple. And yeah, then... so I mean, we were we were just having a little discussion off camera, and I figured might as well. It's like let's just hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's hit the play button while we're doing this. So I, I got a new phone yesterday, and I was I was just telling Evan about how I went to the store, and the guy was doing his best to upsell me on everything. And uh, I was trying to, I was trying to tell him that you know I, I didn't want to. There were some things I didn't want to buy uh, that were Apple brand because Apple overcharges on everything. And yeah. That guy proved my point because I, I really wanted, a, I wanted, I really wanted a battery case for my phone. I, I'm, I'm very anal about keeping my phone charged up. Uh, and I told him, so I, so I told him I don't need a case from you. He went, well, if you like Apple, if you like charging cases, Apple has an Apple brand one. And I said, yeah, but that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the Apple brand case is going to be way more expensive than something I get off like Amazon or even eBay. Indeed. And he was like, oh, okay, so you want like a Mophie. I said, yeah, I, I think I'd be okay with a Mophie. That's a third brand uh, case. That's a third brand company that makes those same kinds of cases. So he goes, yeah. okay, let me get you a Mophie. He brings out two cases that are fundamentally the same to me. Except the Mophie case is like ninety something dollars, and the Apple case is a hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> listen, listen, Alex. <laughs> okay, I was you, like, you see, <laughs> you will, you will never ever get a virus on your Apple case. And that was the thing. Where <laughs> <laughs> on the case itself, yeah. you're saying <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what, that's what we were talking about. How Apple can get away with those shenanigans because they've made they've made their primary. Uh, I mean, this feels hypocritical hypocritical because I bought myself an Apple phone, but I'm an I'm, I'm an informed consumer. Yeah, and I'm also too lazy. I'm lazy, and it's easy just to transfer your shit from your previous you know phone to another Apple phone. But yeah, Apple have they have inured themselves to the common folk. By, who are not familiar with computers and stuff, by establishing themselves as these, you know, consumer as this consumer friendly company that wants to make your computer experience as painless as humanly possible. You know, I was gonna say, wasn't the original original marketing, you know, we we uh, here at uh, you know Macintosh are much simpler to use than those windows like <laughs> you don't need to be some kind of computer genius that knows how to open a virtual window on a computer you know you just use us they were they were marketed as like simple and pretty right like the hardware is colorful and pretty i'm not old enough to have seen the commercials but i i absolutely believe that just because of how like the design of the old macintosh was because it, it was very like minimalistic and very sleek yeah i remember yeah. that the the marketing was you don't need to know anything about computers to use this computer and i mean that's an effective message for a time when computers had just come out yeah and like only like you know nerdy engineers like my dad you know who had to go to college to learn to learn to computer yeah you know <laughs> were able to use them so i mean yeah that's good messaging <clears throat> but um i mean nowadays like it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous to take pride in the fact that you know nothing about computers. Well, I was I was because I was gonna say because I've not used an Apple product since they had those computers where the it was like a round monitor, like the all in one, and the computer deal. was just built onto the back of the monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's that's the last Macintosh product <laughs> that I like use. People buy that shit still. Like, it's not even just Apple anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. They run like garbage. So that's that's what I had, so I have no idea. But is Apple, is Mac, Apple still marketing that we're easy, no. we're the easy to use one compared to Windows? Like, you can just click the, you know, play my music button and it'll automatically pick your favorite music and like I mean I don't think it's it's as explicit anymore cuz now I mean you don't want to make people feel dumb. Yeah. But I mean that that is the reputation they've cultivated. That's okay. why that's why you know you don't call tech support to get your your help with your Apple products. You call you call the Apple genius. Yeah, the genius. They star, just yeah. have these geniuses on staff who know all the dumb nerd shit, and mm. they will take care of your problem for you. You can rest assured. Yeah. And, I mean, you you feel it when you go to an Apple store, because you just have no control over your own destiny when you're there. Yeah. Like, you know, Big Brother, 
will handle everything. Just shut up, stand in the corner, and wait <laughs> until yeah. we get to you. And then also pay us all of the money that you have. Yeah. And, you know, like, that's that's been every experience I've ever had. <laughs> Going to the <laughs> Apple Store. The, um, the one time it didn't suck. I forget if I told you about this. My previous phone, uh, my, I, I had a 6 um, before this. And uh, I got this, I mean, my 6 had a had a problem with the battery. Uh, it, like, inflated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exp that... ex expanded. That Which happened to uh, your brother, my brother's phone. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was a big deal, uh, but it was keep. It was like pushing the screen like off, like out of the casing. Yeah. So like the you could see like the wires and stuff were getting exposed. So I figured like all right, well I'll I'll take it to uh, I'll take I'll take it I'll take it down and I'll get it fixed. And uh, to the genius store. To, 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 the, to the store, yeah. And I and I went down there and uh, they were like, all right, well, and I. Uh, my mom, I wanted, I had wanted to wait, to wait, um, for an appointment. Because I don't, I don't have to, like, be there all, all day at the store. Right. Uh, but this is during, this was just after the whole thing came out where people found out that Apple was, like, throttle, th intentionally throttling batteries. Right. So, to make up for that, Apple had, had made it a thing where you can get your battery changed for insanely cheap. On older models to convince to entice people to just swap out those decaying batteries. Okay. You know, and not drop Apple entirely. But because of that, there was a massive like battery shortage across the country or something. Oh. Or at okay. least that's what the girl on the phone told me when I was complaining about this shit. Okay. Because my my appointment wasn't going to be for like weeks and weeks already. <laughs> Wait, you have to make an appointment at had I had to. Well, it, it's like the DMV. If you make an appointment, then it keeps oh. you from having. It's optional, but it keeps you from having to wait. Okay. But they called me after I made my appointment online. They were like, "Oh, so uh, we didn't we didn't notice that you were trying to trying to get a battery replaced. That's actually going to take longer because we have to physically we have to physically send a battery to a store for you." <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm still stuck on are are genius stores that crowded on a daily basis that appointments Dude, are needed? You don't even know. Have what? You, have you not been to to the Apple Store? No. It's it's like a fucking nightclub. They have a bouncer. What? <laughs> you go to you you go to Apple stores don't have like tables or like lines or counters or any of that any of that that mainstream bullshit. They're yeah. free form, man. Okay. They're, they're the future. <laughs> okay. So you go to the Apple store and it's a bunch of assholes just lined up against the walls. Yeah. Like fiddling around with the iPads, they just have like you know at the store. Right. Alternatively, it's also just like children who got dumped there and who are playing like Hearthstone oh, on like okay. the, on like the free on like the free available iPad. Yeah. And these people are just standing there in things that loosely look like lines, like just waiting for a genius to be like, "All right, I have time to help you." Uh, <laughs> but when the guy fin when a guy finally came up to me, he was like, "All right, what was your problem?" I said, "Oh well, uh, I need to I need to get my battery replaced." And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we got your battery in." Okay, well, it's going to be like five hours. Uh, what? Can I, can I take a look at your phone? I went, yeah, sure. And I showed it to him. He was like, oh my god! What the, what, what, what is wrong with your phone? Like, he was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, well, that's why I need a new battery. Like, this one's one. I was like, D you, you, we, okay, s stay right there. And he, like, runs off. <laughs> 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 and he comes, he comes back. <laughs> wow. And he's like, I cannot let you leave the store with that phone. So here, uh, sign here, and then I will give you this refurbished phone, and then you can leave. Damn. And I went, okay. <laughs> and Dude. I, he's, he's like, he's like, that is extremely dangerous, and if, if something goes wrong with that phone, it could result in a thermal event. Like, there was, <laughs> he had the pause and everything. Those are his words. That was his, uh, that was his diction and everything. That's incredible. And I was just like, all right, and I took the phone, and then I stopped at the nice kiosk outside and got a screen protector and everything, and I went home. And much later on, I found out that it's, there's there's actually a problem with that kind of thing. Okay. Because apparently, like a lithium battery, uh, if it it can burst if it ruptures, right? Yeah. And you know, lithium like hot, steaming lithium. Well, yeah, that that was the pocket <laughs> yeah. phone. That was the pocket bomb phone thing. With yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So it actually is a huge concern. Oh, okay. But. Yeah, that, that kept me from having to uh, from having to wait in line. So wait, I'm glad how it many out for me. geniuses are on staff or on a shift at one time? Not enough. 
Dude, the previous time I went was when I was 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 when I had my worst experience. That was actually going to be the first day we did an LP. Okay. Uh, and it did, it didn't work out because you ended up being busy. But I was I was pissed off the whole time because it wasn't going to work out for me. It was looking like because they literally told me it was going to take them eight hours to fix my phone. What was wrong with your phone? I needed a, I needed a new screen. <laughs> what in the actual hell? Yeah. But it was packed. All the, those Apple stores are packed because it's a combination of people who need help with the tiniest, you know, thing. And also just assholes who just go and hang out at the Apple store because they have nothing better to do with their lives. I just went to some nobody shop when I had a crack in my screen. And I went, oh yeah, um, can I get a new screen popped in? And they were like, yeah, sure, come back in like half an hour. I mean, I, I <laughs> wanted to, but... My uh, my my folks had harangued me into into paying ec additional money for the Apple the Apple Care or whatever oh, they call it. So you were insured. I was technically oh, okay. <laughs> insured, okay. and if I went to visit another person, if I went to a non-certified, yeah, I would avoid. The... It would have exactly, and I would have wasted like the hundred bucks or whatever I, I had spent. So that's why I put up with it. But yeah, they're like I, I literally had to wait at the mall. For like eight hours, I had nothing to do. Holy shit! It was the worst. What? I was just pissed off all day. And it's, it's a story. Like and I and I also couldn't I couldn't text you and tell you. Right. <laughs> because my phone was because my phone was fucked up. Yeah, freaking um. Yeah, it's it's a story like that that makes me, you know, want to reiterate that Apple and Macintosh have this weird blind faith thing that they've built up in their in their customers. Where, anytime I've asked somebody, because I don't know about you, but whenever I have run into a Mac user, the, you know, we, we're talking about some game, or we're talking about something to do with computers. Man, I wish I'd brought more holy water. There's all these, like, freebie, like, good quirk things yeah. I can pick up. You know, you, I talk to them, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, um... It'll be something like, well, why don't you go ahead and... Or, like, have you played this game? Have you played game X? And they're like, oh, no, what, like, what is that? I've never heard of that. <laughs> and I go, oh, yeah, it's just uh, this one game. And I go, what about this game? And they're like, no. And I was like, oh, you must have, like, an older computer then can't, like, <laughs> keep up with the games. Like, that's cool. Computers are expensive. And... <laughs> And they're just like, oh no, I just, I mean, no, I, I use, I have a Mac, it's a good computer. And I'm just like, oh, you have a Mac. And then they go, well, yeah, what, what do you have? Because, uh, win Windows. And then, and then their look begins to sour. And they kind of grimace. And they go, oh, wi Windows. And then they try to explain to me why Mac is better than Windows. It, it's weird. Like, they can't leave it alone. No, yeah. It's like they... <laughs> it's like it's like those people who spend all their free time watching Fox News. Yeah. And hearing about how, like, immigrants are destroying the country. Yeah, whenever I interact with one, it, it always turns into a, <laughs> here's why my computer is better than yours. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, if you want to use Mac, if you like the OS, go for it. Like, I'm not going to knock some guy that likes Linux, you yeah. know? Just do what you do what you like. I roll my eyes when someone tells me they they use like you know something that isn't PC. But <laughs> I mean, I don't give I don't lecture them right anymore. <laughs> but um, because I've I've matured. Yeah, but like, and it's just weird. Like people that use Mac, it's just Max Max the best. End of story. Yep. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why Mac. Because has gotten such a good following for being more expensive and more limited. Well, it's like I've said, they've been kind of... I mean, I don't, I don't like to use the term, but they've kind of been indoctrinated by all the marketing. That, yeah. You know, PC is like the deviant, you know, virus-ridden, yeah. you know, uh, thing. And Mac is the... Mac cares about their customers. Mac is trendy. You know, Mac. Uh, Mac will take care of you. You know, all, all, all that kind of shit. <laughs> and yeah, I was saying, I was saying off camera. That's why the stupid phone case thing happened. Because I was saying, I was wondering if it's if the claim that you will never ever get a virus on an Apple product <laughs> is still true. 
I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put it past them. You know, and I mean, if it's true, I guess that's one thing going for you. But is but it not, but is I, it true because it's that hard, or is it true because nobody cared? Like it, it's, I, people care so little. I mean, initially, initially it was because nobody cared enough to to make a virus like for Apple shit. Yeah, but I, I can't say what it is now. But yeah, I I, I was just saying although, that. Although you you saying that reminded me of I remember back in the day I saw. Um, I saw an interview on Tech TV. It was an I don't know why, but they were interviewing Gary Coleman. Damn, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like of all the people for a video game uh, yeah. a video, a video game uh, channel. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. pre I'm pretty sure it was Tech TV and not G4 at the time. Okay. And he was talking about they were like, "So Gary, uh, do you do you play video games?" And he was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, I play uh, I play The Sims all the time." And they were like, "Oh, do you play anything else?" He goes, "Oh, no, I don't." I don't play any other games or online or anything. Like, I don't want to get a virus. Oh. Damn. Oh, I remember. No, they were asking, like, do you, do you play online? Do you have, like, a Gary Coleman sim? And, like, do you, do you like, interact with other people? It's like, oh, no, I don't, I don't play online. Like, I don't want my computer to get a virus. Man. The sims is all I play, and I just play it offline. I, I like Gary Coleman until right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Gary, come on. Seriously. <laughs> so, wait. Hold on, let me, before I forget, let me segue with Linux into, I, I promised people last video Oh, right. about uh, how we were going to be mad at, at Tencent again, or at uh, Epic. Oh, I, I somehow ended up with no stress. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, because, um, I mean, you'd have to be under a rock at this point, but for those who don't know, the Steam versus Epic store war has been... Declared and been waged for a minute now. It's the war. Yeah. <laughs> and basically, everyone's mad at Epic because, you know, Steam... Because Epic has, has the audacity to try and, you know, compete in the marketplace. Well, they have the audacity to compete, in air quotes, in the eyes of... Because essentially the, the quick version is Steam isn't doing anything, and they're like... We're not going to have any exclusives. Everything's free. Do whatever you want. And they're in a really good position. You know, like, they're, they're taking no offensive action. Basically by taking no action. <laughs> <laughs> and so they've not... Because they control the market. Yeah, they, they haven't done anything. And so people are like, cool. You just let me play games. You don't, like, force anything on me or limit my choices in any way. I like you. I mean, they limit your choices by making it so they're the only platform you can use. Well, no, I mean, I, I play, like, there's, you know, GOG and, uh... Yeah, how many games do you play on GOG? Like, one. Ah. Uh -huh. I play, uh... Uh, four on Origin. Why, <laughs> why do you play Origin? Uh, because Mirror's Edge Catalyst was pretty good. Ah. And what there's... Do you, what do you play on Origin aside from Mirror's Edge, out of curiosity? Uh, Fea... Which is a neat little game where you're a little squirrel thing, and you run around and get crystals and you fly. It's fun. <laughs> I've never heard of that. It's quite charming. We, we can do a one-off sometime. That's, uh, that actually sounds that sounds interesting. Yeah. You know, it's it's actually quite good. It's very good. Uh, but I, my my origin library is Fea, Mirror's Edge, Catalyst, uh, Titanfall. Uh, two or one. Two. Titanfall two. And like, working one other thing that I don't even remember right now. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I play it. Uh, I play that stuff on there. Okay. And the reason that I play games on there, which is the same reason that people are playing games uh, on Epic now, if you are, is because they are exclusive to right. Origin. And so, right. basically, Steam is just, like, sitting there doing nothing and everyone likes it. But other companies who want to have a store presence... They don't want to wait to just... They don't want to wait a decade to, like... What the hell? Apparently, ennui is a is an actual disease. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which you can get by fighting a cannon. Well. <laughs> I mean, straight... Hoda, Hoda oh. straight up got tapeworms from the cannon. How did, yeah, how do you get... <laughs> Where did the tapeworms come from? <laughs> they shot we were from the cannon. We were fighting skeletons and cubes the entire time. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, 
Because these other storefronts don't want to wait a decade to organically... Ooh, supply costs and provisions are, are half off this time. Ooh. I'm going to buy all the shit on my next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be... Because other storefronts don't want to take a decade to organically grow as large as Steam. I cannot get freaking Artorias to show up in the stagecoach, and I feel bad because I told Draco. Yeah. <laughs> and I, actually, I I was looking at a previous video, and I, I, did, I missed one the one time he did show up on the stagecoach. So I missed my opportunity. Well, we... Dude, we're still looking out for you, buddy. <laughs> the first opportunity we get, again... You know what? I, you're I, in. You're I, in. I have upped the number of heroes to five. Okay. So now there is one more, you know, yeah. one, one more tiny chance each week for for that to happen. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So because because other storefronts don't want to just do Val's method and just sit around for ten years until you organically just people play on your thing. Valve's method of succeeding. Right? Yeah. Other companies say okay. We need to make as much money as Valve, except, but like right now. So they're doing that. Epic has been doing that by buying as many exclusive games as it can. Uh, you know, by just offering so much money to devs that the devs go, fuck, that's a million dollars. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm exclusive. And then all their, and all, all their, uh, uh, like Kickstarter backers get mad because they said, yeah, we'll make it for your platform, PS4, yeah. Right, right. And but, the, but again, but again, you know, this is not this is not Epic Games, you know, fault for offering it to them. It is these yeah. companies' fault for selling out well, that, their customers. That's their that's clients. the last thing. That's the last thing. The current thing, people are mad at Epic because I believe they've currently what well, the the latest thing they did was they bought uh easy anti cheat. Which is... What does that do? It's an... It's like Valve... You know how Valve has like Valve anti-cheat? Yeah, I, 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 fig I figured. Yeah. Easy anti-cheat is essentially the affordable, you know, budget solution for your up-and-coming game developer to get anti-cheats in your game so you can play it online or whatever. Okay. Um, Epic straight up bought that. So now only Epic is going to have... Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you meant like they... They bought like a license for it, but you're saying they bought out. The they company. bought the company. Okay. They yeah. They just went to Easy Anti Cheat, said, "Here's ten million dollars," and they went, "Sweet, ten million dollars," and now uh, uh, owns them. And by the way, they're getting all this money from Tencent because Tencent has all the money in China. So okay, Tencent is just like Tencent is backing Epic, and Tencent goes, "You know how you succeed in today's economy? Just." have all the money oh man i wish i'd known that sooner yeah so tencent with the might of epic uh, fucking i'm sorry epic with the might of tencent behind them just goes to val it's an easy anti-cheat and goes here's all the money and they go great and now they own them not only does that make a whole bunch of like little devs mad because now they have to pay more for like a worse anti-cheat, probably. <laughs> but they're gonna hold on to it, you know. They're, they're, I don't think they're like uh, subletting it out, you know. Epic just ate it, <laughs> and so now, now that's their anti-cheat. So it's it's it, now it's Epic anti-cheat instead of Easy anti-cheat. All right. Well, I mean, again, like, and an Easy anti-cheat, you know, sold their company. Yeah. Like why why aren't we why aren't we holding everybody accountable for this? Shit? Yeah, and so well it's it's mainly because you know it's not, it's mainly because Valve isn't doing these things. We don't want Valve to be doing these things. Exactly, if, and they're if, not. If Valve was throwing around their money, then the situation would be way yeah, worse. Yeah, exactly. And so in the eyes of the people, they're like, look, Valve is being chill, saying we're not gonna hoard the game. Yeah. Play it on Steam I mean, or DRM free if you want, I mean, or on or on Epic if we, you want. Like, we al we already have issue an issue with companies like Amazon and Google being too huge, and we desperately need like trust yeah. busting you know measures put in place. Like the only reason that Valve is not a part of that is because Valve is so sedentary. Yeah, and they're so, they are, they are thankfully you know willing to just use their to just allow their company to passively make money by doing basically nothing right right but and but it's like how like it's it's like how, how godzilla was just like chilling nearby your village like he's not doing anything bad now 
But if he decides to, you're right. fucked. <laughs> but the thing is, so Valve is being Godzilla right now. But the thing is, Epic is being like Ghidorah and actually like eating people. <laughs> and so, but it's not like they're. It's not like Ghidorah is eating people. It's more like Ghidorah is going out and like fighting other monsters. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's well, not. It's not detrimental to us, really. Yes. Yeah, it's like it's like they say they're trying to compete with Valve, even though Valve isn't doing anything or limiting anyone's choice in any way. They're like, hey, we have a game. Sure, Epic can have that game too. Play it on whatever you want. But Epic is like, you can only play it on Epic. Meh. Because that's the only way you can compete with Steve. <laughs> like, I don't like the situation, but I get it. And I'm not going to be mad at them for trying to for trying to succeed. You know, in it's not even like unethical. Like, it's just it's good business. Basically, if if Epic did Steam, because Steam says we have a game here, Epic, you sell yeah. the game too. Let people play on what they want. Epic wouldn't make any money that way. If, if Epic said, yeah, we have a game, it's also on Steam, then everyone would be like, good, fair comp competition. But Epic like, doesn't. Epic would make like zero money that okay, way. Okay, yeah. Because everybody's going to buy it on Steam. Anyway, so... The, and Epic does have... Epic has to, has to pay developers and staff, and those people have families. Yeah. Like, companies need to make money. So, like... So, anyway, they bought Easy Edge Cheat, but, the, but, the, but what they've also done is... <laughs> they have also, like... People are also mad at them because simultaneously as, as, as buying these anti-cheat is they've also apparently paused all Linux support. <laughs> for Not the Linux support. For some reason. Oh my god, Evan. No, 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 look, why, didn't, why didn't you lead with this? We've, we've got to stop them. Linux is a platform too. <laughs> but no, so they're just doing, you know what I mean? People are people just continually get mad at them because they're just they're being really aggressive when people think they don't need to be. You know, it's like they're just like you're the only one in town who's trying to force us to play your stuff and everyone else is kind of sitting there and just being in the mall and letting us go to whichever shop we want. You know, Particularly Steam, who again is taking no action, hasn't taken action for like a decade, isn't going to take action for another decade. Yes, but you see, know? but see the the proper metaphor here is if there is if everybody else is trying to shop at the Valve Mall and <laughs> every single store is a Valve store that sells products made by other people, but yeah. keeps most of the profits, and you have the one <laughs> Epic Game Store in there saying we are the only store in this mall that sells you soft pretzels and churros. And Orange Julius. <laughs> well, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And, 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 yeah. And the thing is, everyone just wants the epic, you know, mall stall to just draw customers by making better soft pretzels than the Valve soft pretzels. But you can't win and that. You can't win that way because every <laughs> asshole on the internet, myself included, does not want to play on a non-Steam platform. <laughs> If I see if I see a sale in a game, I go ooh. And then if I see that it is if I when I see those magic words, you know, not a steam key, I go, "Oh, well, fuck yourself." <laughs> and here, we'll close with this. For here's here's what I do is I have Steam Origin, not Epic. Uh, but I have some third one. What's the Fucking uh, you play or some shit. Oh, you, yeah, you play. Yeah, and I've got the Blizzard launcher or whatever. But yeah, I've got all those two and uh, on also Epic. I have the platform, <laughs> right? And if there's a game I want and it's on all the platforms, whichever one it's on sale first on, that's the one I get it on. Well, as as is so often the case, you know, in these in these discussions we have, you are not typical. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Of the average It makes person. sense. Like, get the one with the deepest disc... The one that provides me the best version of the thing I want. Like, that's the one I get. I have, like, every, like almost every single Assassin's Creed game on Steam. And it drives me nuts that I can't actually play them on Steam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you try to run them through Steam, it opens up Uplay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've, uh, we've rambled, but that's the... That's the so-and-so. It's Epic bought another thing and is keeping it all themselves. So you will play on Epic, and they're not going away. So show them some love. I say good on, I say good on them. Yeah, go and for good it. Good on them. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. We'll see you guys next time. Next time.